All right, how are you guys doing? Uh, it's James again. Um, just did a small video on Brandon Robb, uh, U.S. Marine Corps. Um, you guys want to check that out? It's pretty detrimental to what's going on right now. Probably could. It's it's really just an interesting uh, interesting set of, of things going on, especially around me right now. Um, and it's it's actually going on around everyone. Want to move on to what this video is is basically going over, which is zeitgeist uh, moving forward. As you know, there's been the regular zeitgeist movie, um, which I saw years ago before I ever graduated high school. I mean, it was it really impacted my life. It was it was just the thought process behind it, and a lot of people don't like it because it they feel like it attacks religion, and I I really don't feel that way. Per se, I don't feel like it attacks religion. I feel like it opens your mind beyond religion. You know, look past, look past the borders of of the Bible per se. Um, not that you can't follow those instincts, but maybe there are things out there that you're limiting yourself on um, in the world, or maybe you don't understand someone else as well because you have limited your mind to to uh, the religion aspect. Now, that being said. Everyone has their right to their own religion and their own faith, and personally, faith is is what it is. And anyone can have their own faith in anything, in anyone, in any ideal. That's perfectly fine. You know, I'm not here to, to judge anyone or anyone's religion. That's fine. So, but what the other part of what what has basically happened after that is it talks about how you know it, it kind of like a government banking industry is set in motion all this money but the money is really pointless you don't really need the money so basically all this all this movie uh, basically portrays is it just wants you to take your money and throw it back at the bankers and then we'll see what happens um, I can't say that we can just do that in this world um, unfortunately we haven't come to a point where everyone first of all would do it and second of all, there's too many. There's just too many different opinions on the matter in 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 it in itself. Um, but to give you a quick breakdown of how the money situation works in this movie, they basically state that there's a bank, and the bank sets out loans, and and you pay back loans plus interest. Well, there's only enough money there initially for what you needed the money for. So then there's this huge debt of interest at the end there's no one there's nowhere to get the money from the interest so basically someone gets gets screwed at the bottom and that's why you have the cash system it's because there's not nothing fair about the banking system it's there's people up top doing nothing to make everything and then you're down at the bottom doing everything you can to make money and when you pay your interest on your taxes it pays for their salary every year because of your interest payments um, it was a very interesting find, but um, not like I said, I'm not giving credit to anyone on any topic. But what really, really moved me about the movie, um, and you guys check it out again. It's Zeitgeist moving forward. Um, it looks like it was kind of brought out about the beginning of this year. Um, there's called the Zeitgeist Addendum. That's kind of between the two. It's about a two-hour movie. The new one is like three hours, but it it's got all kinds of things in there about how your your brain develops as a child, how you move from child, uh, inf actually from anywhere from the time you're actually a fetus, all the way up to your infant stage, to your adolescent stage, all the way till you get to an adult, and and what the purpose is and how we need to be, but we can't be the way we are because of the stress stresses in this world that lead from money and, and other things but um, he basically throws out towards the end of the movie within probably the last hour or so that he comes up with this ideal okay so we take the world and as if we hadn't settled it yet and now we have all these resources we need to figure out how to gather all these resources and then set up separate cities around the world and basically states that you know we have the uh, the technology now to 
have machines do all our work for us, which is why no one is finding jobs and things to that nature. Unemployment's not really getting any better. You're just seeing it across the, the world. It's just dropping, 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 dropping. And, you know, while it might get better for a couple of days or a month or a couple of months, it's going to go back down again because it's really just not going to get better because the economy, the economy is literally almost at a point where it can't recover because of that monetary system that I was telling you about from before. Uh, it all really ties together nicely, but um, in the end, he shows this great world where it's like we've settled these cities, and these cities are are built like circular, and they've got like different systems all the way spreading out. After they've spread out all the way, they've got like different levels, like all the way, like the middle is like your power source, for instance. Outside of that, you have like your industry where things are being built. And then it talks about how construction, for instance, uses 40% of the world's resources right now. And it wastes a good majority of it because there's always leftover wood from building a home or, or bricks or whatever. And we don't reuse it. We just kind of trash it for the most part. So um, it's very interesting to just re read up on this. I couldn't even go over it all. And I mean, it's a three-hour movie, but... Um, it, it's really just it moved me to a degree that I don't think I've ever been moved before um, if if you took the time to watch this you would really get the better just of it I, I'm apologizing I'm not just good at, I'm just not good at explaining this to the degree that it needs to be but there's just cities they're placed sporadically throughout the world there's no separation of of anything it's everyone it's we're human beings we're not we're not separated by race or 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 ethnicity none of that no or religion no it's it's all just one big random thing we live off the world the world is is our our ground we come here we appreciate what it is that that we are given and and we just live. We don't have to have jobs. We don't have to do anything, you know. And he's saying, you know, that there are jobs that would need to be done, but in a society that would work to the degree that it is, people would volunteer their time just to make sure that it that they maintain this lifestyle. And I agree to that. But there's also going to be people out there that you you wonder, you know, are they ever going to help? It's it's a really great theory. It's a really great process. The only thing that really kind of downsided me about it was it's like, I love the theory, but at this point, I really don't see how it could happen. And that's really just the most disappointing part of it. Um, it's a great, great ideal, um, and and everyone can, can really thrive from it. But there's so many people in the world who have their own beliefs and their own things that there's just no way that people would give up on that even no matter how much it made sense to them because they're 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 bound by the borders of of their religion or their politics or or what have you when this really takes all the borders away there's nothing it's just we are human beings at, in the world and that was really cool to me because that's really a lot of what it is that I'm trying to get going here is you know I personally don't care if you have your own view on religion. That's fine to me. But I feel like there's still something out there that even in all of our differences, we can all come and agree on one thing. There's all there's got to be one thing out there that we all agree on that isn't some type of factual statement. You know, I'm sure that I could say, you know, we all live on planet Earth and there's some guy out there that's like, no, this is Mars. You know, that's got to be someone's ideal because someone's always got to be different but there's got to be something out there if everyone can be different then everyone's got to be the same too because life is balance you have light you have dark you have you know positive negative uh, good evil um, or good bad so it, it's very just an interesting concept to me and this this uh, exercise of the mind is, is really what gets me going and, and I, I like it so I think that if we can get more people on board, we can get this going. A lot of people need to check that out, and hopefully we can we can see what'll happen with with the uh, 
with the country and and I mean if we can change things at a country level I'd probably be content um, but I mean the fact of the matter is is we already have a lot more freedoms than the people in the entire world and even though we have these freedoms these freedoms are honestly still restricting in a sense you don't realize it but you go to work to pay your bills which go back into the money pot for the government I mean you're essentially a slave if you if you look at it in a specific way or if you ha are open-minded on the on the subject you know some people would say they're not we've also grown up with the idea I personally have and I feel this way that I need to work to make my own when in fact it's like I'm, I really, you really don't have to. We didn't used to, and there's so many different, again, this is another aspect you can pull from the movie. They talk about how um, different cultures where there's, you know, less of a, it it's just talks about how there's less of all kinds of crime, there's less of different things in societies that run um, more equally. It, it, people are more equal across the board then everything goes down that's negative you don't you know people are given jobs but they aren't fighting amongst each other they aren't mad they aren't they aren't hostile types of of people and there are you know little groups of people out there like that um tribes for instance but there's also hostile tribes out there um most hostility is usually driven out of fear um that is a fact so it's really just because you don't you aren't sure what you know so um again thanks everyone for listening still working on some documentary stuff um working on getting some of that put in motion i just got this uh letter that i've got to send off today um for instance the letter is for me to extend my unemployment process and it really pulls me over from the state side of things to the federal side. Um, and that's just one of the little aspects that we're going to be having. It, it actually timed out right for me for the video. But um, all kinds of stuff coming. Working on it right now. Um, thanks everyone who's following, who's watching. And keep doing it. Spread the word. Get more people out here. Be great. Uh, again, I appreciate you for... Uh, taking the time to to watch this and put any effort whatsoever and uh, hopefully we can keep you on board and get you get you uh, to get me some more people to watch here so we can kind of spread the word um, outside of that thank you um, sorry again just kind of got up a little bit ago um, but but just read this and, and thought I definitely need to get on here and, and do uh, some different videos today um, but thank you again, and you guys take care. See you later.